Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome to From the Depths, the dev test, version 2.5 point something something. I really should have double checked that. But this is a quick update video, and bef one of the quick updates is, uh, uh Beastman uh, asked me to mention this uh, in a video of some kind. There is a countdown to Christmas thing that the From the Depths social media is doing. Apparently there's prizes to be won and all that kind of stuff, so... Go look at their social media. I am not explaining this very well because I don't know what's going on. I've been living under my rock as I am wont to do. But yeah, go and follow them on that. I have no idea what you might win. I have no idea what they're going to be doing exactly, but uh, it'll it's worth checking out at the very least. Now, on to the matter of the video itself. Uh, the thing you probably clicked on. Probably clicked on. Blah. The reason you probably clicked on this. Cluster missiles. So when they're just in dev test at the moment, and I would have made this video a lot sooner, but cluster missiles are not as intuitive as you might think in this game. So, what are they? Basically, it is a new mechanic that is in dev test uh, of stuffing smaller missiles into bigger ones. So, if we go here, I've got four little systems set up. Uh, this one has small missiles jammed into medium ones. This one has small missiles jammed into large ones. This one has medium jammed into large. And this one has small jammed into medium jammed into large. So you can actually stack it up, well, yeah, twice. You can stack cluster missiles inside each other. So what's the point of these? So meta-wise, I think it's a little bit too early to say how these things are going to be bad and going to be good. Uh, but let's talk about how they work, because uh, it took me a while to figure it out, and I know I'm not the only one who's been struggling. So this is kind of an update video, a uh, brief one, but also kind of a tutorial. So if you look in here, there's three new components in the missile. There is the cluster container controller, the cluster container extension, and the cluster munition ejector. So the controller is what you put on the missile, uh, which uh, holds which basically holds the smaller missiles. This uh, allows it to, well, you can set when and where the missiles get dropped and how fast they get dropped and what kind of missiles get stuffed in the missile. So size difference can be three levels below, uh, same level only. I actually didn't try this. So you can stuff large missiles inside large missiles. That's a little bit, a little bit funky, but yeah. So go here, three levels, two levels, one level, same level. I actually haven't tried that. Sorry about that. I really should have. We can try that in a minute, actually. But yeah, so... Uh, this uh, missile isn't really special apart from that. And the extension adds volume and length to the cluster contro container controller. It must be placed next to it or next to other linked containers extensions. This tooltip needs to be updated because... What uh, me and other people have found is that this only works if the controller is at the back. Of this. So you see where it is, here's the back of the missile, here's the front. If it's here and the extensions are rolling in front of it, it does not work if you stick it at the front and it does not work if you stick it in the middle. And the tooltip really should be updated for to say that. So it's not just adjacent, it's in front of. I have no idea if that's intentional. It might not be, but if it is, a uh, tooltip should be updated. So extension just makes uh, the volume bigger. So currently the container length inside this missile is the volume is about six uh, six modules so it's about 0 0.147 meters cubed and six modules is three meters on a medium missile because uh, each one is 0 0.5 meters per module and that's how that works on the missile you stuff into this that's where the the cluster munition injector comes in because that when placed on a medium or small missile, will allow you to be fired from a cluster container on a larger missile fired from the same missile controller you'll notice that all these small gantries are linked, linked up to the same uh, missile system as these medium ones. That is important. Uh, that is how it knows which ones to fire. And these are mines, by the way, so this is one of my favorite things to do with the new class of missiles, is that they are a great mine delivery system, because normally you have to either launch uh, mines via ejectors or drop them from a bomber. You can't really lob them at a long distance. Uh, class of missiles solve that quite nicely, because you can just uh, lob a larger missile and stuff it full of little cluster munitions as well, which is great. That's how cluster missiles kind of work in real life. Anyway, this is nothing special. It's got a magnet, lots of explosive warheads, regulators so it lasts a bit long, ballast tanks, and let's test fire it. Now, 
you'll notice that none of these have any local web controls. That is because, uh, at the time that I'm mucking around with this, sometimes I think it might be the dreaded return of a bug with missiles in that uh, local weapon controllers do not work with them sometimes. They just, they will not fire them. I don't know why that is, and it's very annoying, so instead I have rigged up an ACB, so... Go here, control missile, ACB missile launcher, and if you're wondering how this works, it's just very simple. If there's an enemy within X amount of meters, fire weapons, uh, set it to the uh, effect range of at least two, and there you go. And we're going to fire that marauder over there. So these things are designed to drop their mines about... where is it? Here. So they're about 100 meters away, and they spit them out. They only have four uh, mines per missile. They didn't they do that? And the groovy thing about them, yes I said groovy, I'm uh, cool and hip with the kids, I know, is that they get dropped under the target. Which is very nice, because if they're explosive, it means they can take advantage of the buff that explosions get underwater for missiles. Which is very nice, and uh, I really like the system. It's, uh, it's perhaps not the most efficient system. You could get better results just by sticking more warheads on the medium missile, but uh, it's super fun. And this also means that uh, you can get infrared missiles that can shoot at, like, submarines, for instance. We're just outside the range of the medium missiles. So against uh, slow ships that have a nice uh, exposed underbelly. How is that thing not AI dead yet? That's uh, impressive. It's a lot of lump of wood in there. So yeah, that's uh, one way thing you can do with these cluster, these cluster munitions, which is uh, quite groovy. Let's kill this Marauder. That'll be fun. That'll be fun and cool. And magnets are still so handy for this. One of the great things is that the explosions fling these little mines around, but they don't fling them far enough that the magnet is out of range, which is very cute. Now it's AI dead. Great. So moving on. So what's this one now? This is a large missile with a whole smeg ton of uh, containers on it. Same thing. Controls at the back. Extensions at the front. APN guidance. No other warheads because it doesn't really need them. Or doesn't have room for them, rather. So, same story. And these ones are meant to be anti-aircraft missiles. So I was thinking, hang on. What if you chuck a large missile and it has a bunch of smaller missiles in it that uh, destroy a whole bunch of aircraft at once? And this uh, kind of works, but also uh, kind of doesn't. So if we go over here and we do that... Also, there's like the, there's UI updates in this dev test. I'm not going to cover everything they're doing, because I don't know everything they're doing. I keep... I don't know. There's no straight-up list. Well, there is, but I always have trouble finding it. So all this kind of stuff, it's all this... Whoa, crap. Forgot this was here. Anyway, so UI is being updated. Oh yeah, the paint uh, thing has been updated as well because uh, the devs are listening, people, and they know that uh, people didn't like this paint UI, they know they didn't like uh, other bits of the UI, and so they're updating, updating, updating. So yeah. So here we have our uh, big cluster anti-air missile, and these things kind of work the way I want them to. Kind of, but not really. So they get launched up, and they spit out, and you'll notice that uh, these things were, didn't inherit any of the speed of a... Uh, what the...? Okay, I thought the squirrels are colliding with each other. You'll notice that uh, these little mini-missiles didn't uh, inherit any of the speed of their parent missile. That is a setting on the ejector. Speed inheritance can be 1 all the way down to 0. So I found this helped because it meant that it gave them a little second to just orientate and lock on, and hopefully they should actually shoot down a squirrel or two. Okay, two out of three. Wait, no, a squirrel did die. Oh crap, hold on, whoop. That was close. Ah, oh, darn it. Mm. So can we zap squirrel number one? I mean, number two, number... I don't know what squirrel that was. So one thing to keep in mind is that, uh... Z-missiles will get us 
spat out at a minimum distance. Okay, that worked. That's probably overkill for a single squirrel, so, uh... I don't know, this works, but it's a little underwhelming. Uh, I probably would need to fiddle with that a lot more. Maybe I'm just out of practice with anti-aircraft missiles, but jeez. But this is potentially good for uh, infrared missiles, because you can stick the one turn on the big missile, and then on the small missiles inside it, you can not bother with the one turn at all. Uh, none of these things are using one turns right now because they don't work with ACBs, because the local weapon controls aren't working for me right now either. So, life is hard, I guess. So, that's uh, one demonstration, and now let's go to the slightly more... I've never tested this against the Fury, actually. Will this work? My guess is no, it won't. Alternatively, it could work extraordinary. Is this thing being updated? I don't know. That worked a lot better than I thought it would. I thought the Fury would leave the missiles of the dust. Oh, now it's doing a death spiral. Great. Just great. That's my favorite. I just realized how hungry I was. I really should have done this after lunch. But you know what? Out of all the problems I could be complaining about right now, that is not a biggie. Are you gonna do it? Almost. Okay, so that is kind of hit and miss. Let's try something a little bit smaller and more annoying. But yeah, so this is uh, kind of out of left field, and I think the... I don't know what's going on over at Brilliant Skies, but uh, they're doing thing they're doing surprising things over there. And I guess that might partially be my fault, because you might think I'm up to date on everything FTD. I'm not. I'm just lucky enough to have people tell me things. So uh, if they uh, if they whatever if they're busy with something else like real life, and uh, I don't get told, I miss out completely. So let's spawn in a few hakes. Oh, hake! It's the hakes. Okay, that was pretty cool. So that's two large missiles fired for uh, two hakes dead. Not great. I think a, a large missile, in terms of ammo cost alone, almost costs as much as a hake does. But yeah, that's a fun thing to try out. Uh, those of you who are better at making... Oh dear. <laughs> this guy's still trying, bless him. Those of you who are still, uh, who know how to... What the hell did you just do? Oh my word. That was the large missile that managed to do that. That's hilarious. And this hake had its face blown off. I'm just watching this happen right now. I really should move on. In fact, let's move on. Sorry about that. Now, you can stick medium missiles inside large missiles. Same story. Eject is on the smaller thing. Smaller thing. And uh, all this over here. And... It actually takes a lot of room on a missile to uh, stick other missiles in it, surprisingly, especially if you go for missiles of any decent length. So these things are only 4 meters long, but that's 4 meters of length, which means you need at least uh, 4 segments on a large missile in order to have them. I have 8 meters of space on here because that's one of the ways you jam even more in there. You can jam them in because volume-wise is a little bit restrictive, but in terms of length, I think there's... Actually, you're only limited by how long you make the parent missile, so... Let's have this guy go. And let us spawn in... Uh, something that's fun to shoot at. I was shooting at a perforator with a... Uh, oh yeah, some of the faction ships are being updated, and uh, you'll notice... That, particularly in the Deep Water Guard section, the easy section is a lot shorter. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, craft are being cut. Simply because there's too many of them, they don't serve a real purpose. Which is unfortunate, but at the same time, like, honestly, playing the campaign, you saw certain crafts so much more than others, and you weren't seeing them all anyway, which is a bit of annoying. A bit of annoying, but There's also a- actually, there's a new thing. Uh, the Jacob Scorn is a new craft. I forgot to do this. There we go. That thing doesn't have enough of a radar signature for this, so... We'll just go look at it. Just while we're here. 
So this is a uh oh, this thing's actually coming in very close. So uh, this is a ramming craft. Okay, I didn't expect that to work. I really, <laughs> I really didn't expect that to work. I thought the missiles just lost the plot, but yeah, it's a ramming thing which moves uh, surprisingly fast. New addition. Keep an eye out for that. So yeah. And let's spawn in the actual thing I wanted to shoot at. Let's go here. Godly blah, 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 blah. Judgment. <gasps> the judgment has been updated, actually. Let's shoot at that. So if you look over here, the judgment has legs. Uh, the hydrofoils are probably going to be removed, but yeah. Lots of cool stuff is happening in there. Got rail guns, lots of little missiles, and all that jazz. And let's see how good its missile defense is. Not spectacular. No, wait, it's actually pretty good. Oh no. I'm gonna have to activate all my previous missiles, aren't I? Yeah, so missile interceptors are uh, pretty darn good. All right, never mind. Never mind. I need to find my. Damn, I'm losing the plot from hunger. Let's pull in the perforator. So yeah, I still hate the perforator, by the way. Like uh, least favorite thing. I think those are the bloody anti-air things. Yes, they are. Let's, uh, reset the clock on that one. Sorry about that, guys. I am, uh, losing my brain right now. Okay. Now! Let's pull the cover right. So the idea with this, uh, missile setup is it's just, it's an anti-ship setup. So, two big missiles, uh, mostly containers with an EMP warhead on them, because EMP is best delivered in big jolts. Then it spits out a whole uh, buttload of high-explosive um, uh, medium missiles that uh, just kind of saturate the target, and hopefully it's going to do the thing I wanted to... Okay, not quite. Uh, in one of my test firings, it just, the first volley managed to cut this turret clean off the top of the perforator, which uh, made me extremely happy, and that's why we're shooting at it again. So yeah. Come on, one more volley for Daddy. Then Daddy can go eat pie. Whee! So yeah, if nothing else, cluster missiles can be a pretty cool way of getting missiles to get to... Uh, I guess one of the things you can do with them is that you can have less exposed uh, hatches on deck. That could be quite cool. So it's just, I have a whole smeg ton of missiles in here. Uh, so it's like, what is it? It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, so 14 blocks. Uh, being f 14 missiles being fired out of a, a four block uh, gap in the deck, which is pretty nice actually. And this is where the perforators decoys unfortunately are really damn good, is at close range. So enough of that. So finally, uh, we have this setup over here. And this is the mines that we saw earlier inside medium missiles inside large missiles with an EMP warhead. Actually, these guys have one frag warhead on them, so it's just a huge medley of stuff. So, what can we shoot at with that? Let's shoot at something fun. Something fun. Norg's always fun to shoot at. Or the Norga. Yeah, someone corrected me on the pronunciation for that the other day. The Norga. Not the Norge. The Norga. Because apparently in uh, Scandinavia land, uh, GE is G. I'm not making fun 
It's just, I am tragically monolingual, and to my English brain that looks weird. It's a little bit like when I call uh, the tear the tur. So there's the little medium missiles firing, and... Pfft, they just farted out a bunch of mines. EMP jolt, EMP jolt, and... Big armored underside, which is uh, less ideal. And that missile just got <laughs> flung away uh, to a very far away place. So yeah, arguably, rather than doing that, you could have just stuck a whole bunch of big warheads on the large missile, which probably would be way more efficient. But it's nice to have this option, really. It's a, it's a fun option. And I just realized that I uh, lost a challenge that someone put on my Discord that my next video is going to be under 15 minutes. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, hello. That was... Oh, that was beautiful. That is actually a very good way, very good uh, handy thing for that mine uh, laying missile. It's just... Uh, just meant... What the... Oh, look at that aimpoint spoofing bollocks right there. Oh, no. That is an aimpoint spoofing bollocks. That is a... Uh... I don't know what that is. That's a texture glitch, it looks like. Huh. So yeah, we just blew up the turret of that thing from underneath. That is so cool. So yeah, that's uh, something to keep in mind, I guess. Yeah, that's about it. That's uh, cluster missiles. I hope everyone learned something from this. I uh, hope we get hyped for... Uh, FTD countdown... What happened up here? FTD countdown to Christmas and all that uh, groovy stuff. Come on, are we gonna pop another turret? Oh, I see what's happening. The lead keel is a weak point. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, that makes me so happy. So yeah, what's uh... Okay, I am actually... My stomach is actually starting to hurt. I need to cut this short. So, that's cluster missiles for you. Uh, be sure to poke around in dev test and figure them out. Still under construction, so mind the yellow signs and all that stuff. That was a construction joke. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon if you like. It really helps. Uh, thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.